Phase diagrams are a way to visualize solutions to autonomous ordinary differential equations. And in this video, we'll consider the case of just one dependent variable, x. And so an autonomous ordinary differential equation will have the form dx dt equals f of x. Now what's special about this form? What makes it autonomous? Well, the right-hand side does not include the independent variable. So the independent variable is not used in the definition of the differential equation. I'll show you how to construct phase diagrams through an example. So let's consider the differential equation dx dt equals x times 1 minus x. This is autonomous because the independent variable t does not appear on the right-hand side. Now phase diagrams are kind of related to slope fields, so I'll start by drawing the slope field for this differential equation, as I've done here. I'll remind you how to draw the slope field. You pick a point, t comma x, in the tx plane, and you imagine that you have a solution passing through that point. The tangent line to that solution will have slope dx dt, but the equation says that dx dt is the same as x times 1 minus x. So if you go to that point and you draw in a little line which has slope x times 1 minus x, then that will be a tangent line to the solution. And I do that for a bunch of points in this plane, and I begin to get a picture of how the solutions will flow. Now notice a special property of this slope field. Because the equation is autonomous, the right-hand side does not depend on t, and so the slope field will not change as I move from left to right. If I choose a particular x value and I evaluate the slope by evaluating x times 1 minus x, then I can move from left to right, in other words I can change the value of t, and I still have the same slope. Phase diagrams take special advantage of this left to right symmetry in the slope in order to collapse this two-dimensional picture down into a single line. So here's our phase diagram, at least the beginning of it, and since it's a line, we'll call it a phase line. Now before we draw any more of this phase line, let's sketch in a few solutions to this differential equation. So I go with the flow of the slope field and sketch in the, some solutions in orange. Now notice we have two particular solutions which are special, and those are the solutions x of t equals 1 and x of t equals 0, constant solutions. Those correspond to the points where dx dt is 0, and the solution is not changing. For all of the other solutions, it will change with time. And so I mark those guys in here by filling in just an orange circle corresponding to the, the points x equals 0 and x equals 1. So these are the guys where dx dt is 0. The solutions are not changing. What about elsewhere on this phase line? Well, if I start out above x equals 1, then my solution will decrease. If I start out up between x equals 0 and x equals 1, my solution will increase. If I start out below x equals 0, then my solution will decrease. So that corresponds to different signs for the derivative. Above x equals 1, dx dt, by this formula, is negative. Between x equals 0 and x equals 1, again, by this formula, dx dt is positive and below x equals 0, dx dt is negative. So as a shorthand, we can mark in those signs on our phase line by drawing little arrows. At these orange points, the solution will stand still, so I just draw a little circle. Now in between the orange points, say right here, the solution will increase, so I draw a little arrow going up. Above the top orange point at x equals 1, the solution will decrease, so I draw an arrow going down. Now likewise, for below x equals 0, I draw an arrow going down. And that's it. That's our phase line. So we have a line with dots to indicate where the solution is standing still, and arrows to indicate where it's moving and in which direction it's moving. So let me give you a little vocabulary that will help you talk about the phase line. And the first thing is that these points where the solution is standing still, these are called equilibrium points. In our case, it's x equals 1 and x equals 0. Equilibrium meaning that the solution is not changing. Now, these equilibrium points have different properties. And this equilibrium point at x equals 1, we call a stable equilibrium. And we call it stable because both of the arrows are pointing in. So you imagine that if you were to start off close to x equals 1, either above it or below it, you would tend toward x equals 1. And that's what makes it stable. It's like the bottom of a valley. And the other point the arrows are pointing away from that equilibrium. And so it's called an unstable equilibrium. You imagine it like the top of a mountain. So if I start out anywhere near x equals 0, then I will move away from x equals 0. Similarly, if I were to concoct a differential equation which had this as part of its phase diagram, 
where an arrow was pointing in and an arrow was pointing out, I would also call that unstable because it is not stable. Now I have a task for you. Since this type of unstable equilibrium did not appear in our example, come up with an example of an equation that exhibits this type of unstable equilibrium. And that is one arrow going into the equilibrium and one arrow going out. Now, after you figure out how to do that, I have a question. Is there any phase line, any configuration of stable and unstable equilibria which could not occur as the phase line for a differential equation? In other words, can I glue together a whole bunch of these guys in some line which could not possibly be the phase line for a differential equation? Or is it true that any picture I draw, I can come up with an example of a differential equation which has that picture as its phase line?